Before I get into today's video, remember to follow me on Twitter. So my Twitter, the link is in the description below. You can also find me. My handle is at Jackson Kruger. Come over, say hi. And anyways, back to your regularly scheduled video. All right. So is Big Ben back? Is he uh, going to be an elite quarterback once again? I think some Steelers fans are saying he never left. What do you mean? He was great last year. Most people are saying, okay, well, he wasn't great last year, but he had his moments. And then there's definitely some people who are saying, uh, no, he's completely washed up. Uh, this was just, you know, a fluke. I, I thought he looked good. I thought he looked good out there. And he looked maybe better than he did towards the end of last season, at least. So again, uh, I think that I think a lot of his issues last year were a bit overblown. I mean, he was legit a fringe MVP candidate like midway through last season, kind of like a dark horse MVP candidate. People felt like if he, you know, if a couple guys fell off, maybe he could get in that conversation. Didn't work out that way, but he was, certainly wasn't a problem and they didn't win as many games as they won in spite of him. Although again, he did have his bad moments. So uh, let's get into the film study and talk about, again, not last year, but this year, the preseason, what he did well. Let's just jump into it. So we'll start things off with this play. What's going to happen is that uh, you see that this is a fun one. So this is something where the left tackle, one-on-one -on -one blocking a Detroit Lion. You might be wondering, why on the world am I highlighting a block? I'm, aren't I supposed to be talking about Big Ben here? But just watch for it. And again, is this the you know play that's making me say Big Ben is back? Not really. Is it fun? Absolutely. So Roethlisberger takes the snap, and you're going to see that, okay, so, you know, good move by him, right? So there was pressure along the edge. He stepped up in the pocket, was able to get around it. Now he's getting ready to throw the ball. This was all good. One potential issue that could arise here is the fact that there's more pressure coming towards him, and he's kind of throwing the ball, but he doesn't want to actually throw it there. And part of it for me is, you know, I've watched a lot of rookie tape recently, so now seeing like a veteran who's like really good at this stuff, it's really a joy to watch, quite frankly. And this is something that, you know, Big Ben's always had good mobility despite his size. That's one of the big selling points, and that's why any big quarter quarterback who can move even somewhat automatically gets Big Ben comparisons, right? But watch how he makes another move. is going to roll out. And then he even makes an incredible throw to Ebron, who manages to drop it. It's like, dude, you can't drop that one, right? <laughs> Roethlisberger did so much good on that play. But yeah, I feel like, again, he did that a little bit last year, but he wasn't moving as much last year. So the fact that he's moving around a little bit more this year, maybe he's just gotten a little bit more healthy. I mean, he was banged up. Uh, maybe it just took a little bit more time to heal. I have no idea. I'm just that's baseless speculation, but just just some away, somewhere that my mind went when watching that. But, you know, it was very fun. This play was awesome. So one thing that I've kind of fought back a little bit about during the offseason was the whole Big Ben's arm is shot narrative. It might not be what it once was, but this was awesome. And, uh, you know, again, he did have some good deep balls. Uh, again, do I think that he is what he was when he was 29? I don't. But do I think that he can still throw the ball deep when he has to? I do. So it's a third down and three. It's a go route against man coverage, a cover one man play. So single safety deep and watch what's going to happen here. As you see, the receiver is going to admittedly get wide open. But look at this throw. For one thing, it's to the moon, right? He threw it incredibly high. Maybe you could argue don't throw it that high. And in fact, I think that's maybe fair. You could also argue try to throw it a little bit closer to the outside. Don't throw this back over the middle where there is a safety. That is dangerous. So while it's very exciting, there are some nitpicks. This was not a perfect throw, but to me, it still clearly shows, no, he does still have arm strength. And I mean, look, you know, it was able to be complete. And you know, one of the things I think about with Roethlisberger is you compare him to someone like Drew Brees. Drew Brees, Basically, the last couple of years in New Orleans, they just had to say, we can't throw the ball deep. That's not our game. And they still had success with it. Their offense was still good with Breeze there, but would have had more success with the deep ball. With Roethlisberger, the deep ball can still be a part of his game, which is great because, you know, really hard to make an offense work when you don't have the ability to make those chunk plays. And one thing I thought of as well was something like this. So, Last season, we saw a bit of, you know, game manager Ben Roethlisberger, which we've never seen before. That's not something people would call him in the past. But something like this is a great example of him being that game manager type and using sort of the fact that he's been in the league for as long as he has to his advantage. So 
it's going to be zone coverage. You have, you know, you see the concept where multiple players, this is what I believe it is. It's possible I'm wrong because, again, I don't have the all 22, but uh, you have multiple receivers run deep. Then a tight end kind of runs underneath Eric Ebron. And with the play action, the hope is that linebackers come in. And then if they do, you sort of throw over the top of them. And, you know, with multiple players running deep, there should be a big gap where Ebron could get wide open. However, watch what happens. So look at the linebackers. They read this well and they drop back well. You're uh, just, you know, I paused it. Your phone did not break. Your computer did not break. Uh, and so at this point, you know, Roethlisberger can't really throw it the way he wants to. And let's be honest, we've seen Big Ben over the years maybe make some throws that are a bit gunslingery, maybe some throws he shouldn't make. But he really, since he came back from that injury, he's gotten a lot more, you know, smart with his decisions. He hasn't been that gunslinger that we've seen in the past. And I wonder if just sitting out a season, he kind of re realized the value of not always forcing the ball into double coverage. And look, he's just going to check it down to Najee Harris here. Uh, I can't show the entire play because it'll be a copyright, but this was the play where Najee Harris had a big run and actually gained a ton of yards. So someone like Najee Harris being in the game, this is what made me think, oh my goodness, this could be a great combination, uh, similar to Breeze and Kamara down the stretch. Again, I don't want to put too much, uh, you know, emphasis on Harris because he is still a rookie, but it gives you some hope that potentially Harris could uh, you know, get a ton of those plays and be an upgrade from what they had in the backfield last year. I really think it could be a big deal. And then you have something like this. So it's going to be zone coverage. You have Friar move running over the middle and watch what's going to happen. First, you're going to see Ben give a little head nod, which kind of gets the safety out of position a little bit. So now it's just a one-on-one -on -one matchup because the safety moved in. Uh, also just a bad play by the safety. But what's going to happen now is this is going to be a little bit difficult because it's a very tight throw. I mean, this is going to have to be a perfect throw. And also, he's throwing it a lot harder than he's thrown some of these other balls. But still, watch what happens. I mean, this is just a perfectly placed ball. You could not ask for anything better than that. That's exactly where he wanted to put it. He got it there. Just, just great stuff by Roethlisberger, I would say. So, yeah, that's kind of how I feel about Big Ben. Listen, uh... For one thing, it's just, you know, seeing him on the TV screen, we all, you know, someone my age, I grew up watching Big Ben uh, on Sundays, so it's it's cool to see him back, and I think, uh, again, uh, it would be interesting to see if the Steelers could be good. I do think that they kind of want to go all in here, one last ride with Roethlisberger, and so far, it seems to be looking okay. Uh, this team does look pretty good. I think the demise of the Steelers is, uh, you know, greatly exaggerated. I think that they could be okay. Uh, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.